Installing closet lighting using jam switches for two hinged doors, two door closet. Preparation of wiring. Rough and wiring. For a closet with two hinged doors, double door closet. Wiring diagram for installing door jam switches. Wiring sketch using light fixture junction box or light fixture as junction box to connect jam door switches. Wiring sketch using a receptacle junction box as a junction box to splice, connect door jam switches and a light fixture. This option will be used in the wiring of this closet. Install the cables for the door jam switches from the receptacle junction box to the closet door frame. Drill a cable hole in the door frame studs on both sides about 16 inches from the top of the door frame and insert the cable. Route the cable from the receptacle junction box to where the light outlet will be located above the closet door. Connect the receptacle junction box for the two closet door jam switches. Sketch of the splicing, connection of a receptacle junction box with a hot power wire connected through the receptacle. Spliced, connected, wires. Cable from the power source. Cable to first jam switch. Cable to second jam switch. Cable to light outlet. Splicing the wires in the junction box of the receptacle. Open the knockouts in the junction box. Insert the cables into the cable knockouts and staple them within 12 inches of the junction box. The cable should be between 12 and 18 inches long when it enters the junction box. Describe the cables. Remove the cable's sheath. The cable sheath, jacket, should protrude beyond the entrance to the housing, junction box, not less than one quarter inch.
Separate the ground wires, bare, from the others and push the ground wires towards the back of the junction box. Wrap one of the longest ground, bare, wires around the others. Hold with your fist. This gives you a minimum length of 6 inches from the box entrance, required, and cut the remaining wires at the front of your fist, leaving the longest one. Pull the long wire through the hole in the green wire nut, twist it clockwise and insert the spliced wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the junction box. Separate the neutral, white, wires from the cable from the power source and from the cable to the outlet. Strip the ends of the wires about one half inch and connect them with pliers. Take a piece of white wire for pigtail and splice these wires using pliers and a wire nut. Insert the spliced wires into the junction box. Separate the black, hot, wires from the cables leading to the door jam switches and to the light outlet, splice them together and insert them into the junction box. Remark the white wires, no longer neutral, from the cables to the door jam switches with black tape or otherwise. Connect them together by adding a black pigtail wire and insert spliced wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail outside the junction box.
Group all the wires together. Push them towards the back of the junction box. Hold down with your fist. This gives you a minimum length of 6 inches from the junction box entrance, required, and cut the wires in front of your fist. Insert the wires into the junction box. Installation of door jam switches. After installing the drywall, but before installing the door, relocate the door jam switch cable to the hinge side of the door. If there is not enough space between the door and the door framing stud, it may be necessary to notch the door framing stud to accommodate the door jam switch cable between the door and the door framing stud. Gardner Bender Push Button Door Switch The door switch package contains Switch assembly with finish plate Switch junction box Grounding screw Junction box installation screws Finish plate installation screws You will also need Button type push in connector Two wire nuts Install the door jam switch the door jam switch must be installed before the door trim is installed or the door trim already installed must be removed. Mark the location of the door switch and the cutout for the junction box of the door jam switch. Typically, the door switch is installed between the top and middle hinges, approximately 16 to 20 inches below the top of the door frame. Cut a hole in the door frame for the switch junction box. A small piece of wood on the trim side of the door jam junction box should not be broken. This piece of wood covers the switch junction box for a better finished look.
cut a hole in the door frame stud to accommodate the junction box and the cable inserted into it. Cut a recess for the installation brackets of the junction box so that the assembly is flush with the wood of the door frame.
Route the cable through the cutout in the door frame. Open the knockout of the junction box and insert the cable connector. Insert the cable into the cable connector. Cut holes in the door jamb for the screws of the finishing plate of the door jamb switch so that they can be screwed in easily. Using a 364-inch bit. Drill holes for the screws that secure the junction box to the door frame. Install the junction box by securing it to the door frame using the supplied screws. Install the ground screw.
Remove the cable sheath. Wrap the ground, bare, wire around the ground screw, tighten the screw, cut the wire to required length and insert it into the junction box. The white wire is no longer a neutral wire, so it should be marked hot at both ends. Trim the wires, not shorter than 6 inches, and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Use wire nuts to connect one wire from the switch to one wire from the junction box in any way you like. Insert the connected wires into the junction box. Secure the switch faceplate to the junction box using the screws provided.
Install the door jam switch on the other side of the double closet doors.
Install the door trim. Install the light fixture in the closet. For standard shallow closets, the light fixture must be installed above the door to be NEC compliant. Cable to the luminaire after installing the sheetrock. Metalux 48 inches LED strip light will be installed. Metalux 4ST2L4040R LED strip light installation. Remove the LED channel cover from the channel body by squeezing the channel near the locking tabs while lifting the cover. Locking tabs. Luminaire, light fixture, channel. Channel cover with LEDs. LED driver. Ground wire connection. LEDs wires connection. Aligner for row mounting wire nuts you will also need a button type cable connector Disconnect the LEDs with the cover from the channel. Disconnect the cover ground wire from the channel ground wire. Select and mark the mounting location of the luminaire, light fixture. Remove the appropriate knockout for the cable. Mark a knockout hole on the wall and use a one and a quarter inch bit to drill a hole in the drywall that will fit the cable connector.
Cut drywall to hide the cable. Insert the cable connector into the light fixture knockout. Insert the cable into the connector. The cable must be long enough to connect, minimum 6 inches. Using any screws, they can be sheetrock screws, mount the lighting fixture. Remove the cable jacket. Trim the wires if needed and strip the end of the wires about one half inch. Using wire nuts, connect the ground wire, bare, from the cable to the ground wire, yellow with green stripe, of the light fixture. Connect the neutral, white, wire from the cable to the neutral, white, wire from the luminaire.
Connect the hot, black, wire from the cable to the hot, black, wire from the luminaire. Install the channel cover. Reconnect the ground wire from the cover to the luminaire channel. Reconnect the LED strip plugs from the cover to the channel receptacles. Reattach the channel cover to the light fixture channel by hooking one side around the channel and then pushing the other side up and over the channel embosses. Remove the protective film from the LED lens. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.